Ever wanted the most exclusive t-shirt in GTA Online? This is the Elite Challenge t-shirt, which is only available to those players who have completed all five of the Elite Challenges in the original heist. Widely regarded as the hardest to complete based on how little time you have to get them done, and only worn by the very best GTA players. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through how to complete all three roles in the Humane Labs raid in under 11 minutes to get that Elite Challenge. You first want to buy this property at North Conquer Ave, which you can purchase from the Dynasty 8 website for $762,000. You then have to make sure you have bought the heavy utility vest from a clothing store. Welcome to Suburban. You can find them by going to Tops, Utility Vest, Heavy Utility Vest. Choose either the grey or the black. This is the latest collection, if you can believe it. Then make sure you save your outfit. Wearing this vest in the OG heist gives you so much more protection, but the trade-off is that it makes your character slower. If you can make it quick, I was in the middle of a blog post. Two teams, chopper crew, ground crew, all of you will be flying in together. Ground crew is going to jump into the labs, set off the EMP, make their way toward the information we're after while the power is down. Chopper crew holds position in the air, deals with incoming security teams. Once the ground crew has what we're after, you coordinate an evac and meet my contact with the file. Are we clear? In your setup, make sure the host has heist clothing set to player saved outfits. There are three roles for this heist, pilot, gunner, and two players for the ground team. Be sure to each wear your heavy utility vest and choose the Torridor as your vehicle. The Elite Challenge timer starts as soon as the green banner comes down. All four players should run to the third Torridor. This will give you a good angle for this jump. Then follow this route. Is waiting where you left it, just north of the Alamo Sea. You're all flying in together, so you've all got to get over there. I want this operation over and forgotten about as quickly as possible. So the amount you are paid will depend on how fast it's done. I hope money's a good motivator for you. As soon as you take off here, activate boat mode. Grenades, just in case. And sticky bombs, just in case. And we're giving you night vision goggles too. Okay? Alright. You know as well as I do, this operation is the product of hundreds of man hours and millions of dollars. Unless you believe in string theory and an infinite multiverse, this is our only shot at this. All that work, all that money, for everything, for nothing. That's a lot of pressure for four people to shoulder. Hopefully, you'll have a better landing than we did. What's it gonna be today? I've got faith in you! Else, much as you can have faith in a ragtag bunch of reprobates. Then get your pilot and gunner in the front and the ground team in the back. Okay, here we go. You should now all be in the helicopter before 2 minutes 30. Choice on position. Have your side gunners shoot behind you to give you a little extra speed boost.
Once you've reached the Humane Labs, fly up high to trigger the checkpoint. Then the ground team should jump out immediately. Ready to jump. Pilot, keep the chopper in position till the ground team have breached. Then land the chopper on this part of the mountain. Are you drifting out yet? When they're inside, descend and provide cover. Ground team, time to switch to night vision. Triggering the EMP. Get ready to jump. Once the ground team have halo jumped, one should land in the parking lot with the other in front of the large grated door. RPG the panel on the left and you're in. Assault shotguns are the weapon of choice here as they can take out everyone at close range with just two or three shots and can hold a good amount of ammo before you need to reload. Because you're wearing the heavy utility vest, there's no real danger of dying, but your running speed is limited, so jumping when wearing it speeds up your progress. Make sure to stay on the move, and this section should be a breeze. The network infrastructure at that place is state of the art. It won't take you long to pull the data. Scan the keycards, and your time should be about 5:20 when the cutscene starts. The ground team should then equip a scarf, as this will remove your heavy utility vest, enabling you to run faster, but more importantly, swim faster. Take out the last three enemies and make sure you equip the rebreather at the prompt and swim to the bottom of this water well. Not equipping your scarf here will mean you will not complete the heist in time to get the elite challenge. Back with the pilot and gunner, who for now, just wait on this mountain to take out the first buzzard with explosive sniper rounds or a minigun if it gets too close. Merryweather's dispatch air units, chopper team, take them down! The gunner then stays on this mountain to snipe any other buzzards, while the pilot lands on this small beach ready to pick up the ground team. Chopper team, the ground team are swimming out through the cooling tunnel. Their signals will have gone dark, but get ready to pull them out. The pilot can then wait on the beach to take out any more buzzards that may come their way until the ground team arrives, we should then hop onto a minigun each. The ground team will send up a flare, give you a visual on their location. Let's go, let's go! Drop any Merryweather units coming after you, then get out of there. The gunner will be kept busy taking out the many buzzards that will now spawn, while the Valkyrie team is on their way for the pickup. Landing on this part of the mountain again somehow means the buzzards will not fire missiles at you. This is extremely important as you can't take more than 2% damage or else it will fail the elite. You can then have all three miniguns firing to take them out.
that when you only have a few left, the gunner can hop in and you all fly off to the checkpoint, destroying any spare buzzards along the way. Completed in 10 minutes and 23 with only 1% damage. So if you found this video useful, please leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down. I love you all. Love ya. And I'll see you in the next one. You are not going to talk about what happened here.